Casino Gas Nico here. Got me a new product I wanted to test out. Um, it's a meter. So you can measure how many volts and amps and wattage, kilowatt hours, all that stuff. You can plug this in to the wall, then plug something else into it, and it'll give you an immediate display. And the reason why I wanted this usage monitor, is what they're calling it, is I wanted to be able to view it through Wi-Fi if I'm not at the house. Um, my reason being is I put my window air conditioners on my solar system. So I'm running the, I want to run my air conditionings off solar power. The way I can tell they're on solar power versus the public utility. So on public utility, I'm running about 122 volts. When they're running on the solar power off the inverter, I'm running about 109 but anywhere from 107 to 113 volts. So I'm under 120 volts, I know I'm on solar power. And also this will let me know how much energy I consumed. It will keep track, I can look at it on the app. So I'm gonna test that out. I wanna show you guys how this works. Um, just got it. Link in the description if you wanna check it out. So here we go. That's it. A little device. It's got the wall plug. You just plug it into the wall. And uh, I'm going to test it out. I'm going to plug it in. And uh, I'm going to plug it into a little Jackery power bank. I do have a 110 plug there. See what all the display shows. And uh, we'll go from there. I'm going to turn my power on for my outlet. And I'll plug this in. And I'll be able to tell what kind of power consumption this thing draws. This, without anything plugged in, holds about three watts just for the inverter to be running. And right now I'm at four watts. So it looks like standby power without anything being drawn off this is only one watt of power, which is not bad. Now it has a nice display. I'll move the camera over here so we can get a better look. But let's see. It's got different menus. Oh, it's so got a light menu. That makes it better. So rate, you can put in your rate on here. Um, watts. Volts. Right now this is a 110.72 volts. Um, cost per month. I don't know what PF stands for. And then you have amps. to figure out what pf is i'll have to look at the manual um, looks like there is a manual in the box so i'm gonna move the camera so you guys can see the different screens that this has and then we're gonna look and see downloading the app and see what that looks like all right so let's go ahead and toggle through these screens okay so here we have kilowatt hour and ct that looks like it's a timer so i want to check and see what that means i'll have to read the instructions on that I press that, I have watts, max, what my max wattage, VA, then we're gonna have volts. We well, can see this is producing 110.8 volts. I can put in my electric rate. So cost per month. So that'll give me a good, tell me how much it cost me or if it's running on solar, how much it saved me. So PF, Hertz, that's good with 60 Hertz. And then this looks like how many amps. And, oh, max amps, okay. There's the max. And then I was looking here and it didn't change, but if you hit it again, you see it goes to max. There you go, those are all the displays. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can check out the app. Actually, let's look at a draw first. All right, so I have this lamp here. We're gonna go ahead and plug it into the unit. Let's see how many watts it draws. It is an LED, so it's not gonna draw a lot. There, and you can see the wattage, I'll zoom in. Nine watts. How many amps are we pulling? 
0 0.08 amps. That's that's almost nothing. I don't have any cost stuff in there. So kilowatt hours. We haven't really accumulated anything because we just turned it on, but it will add the kilowatt hours here. So there you go. Still at 110 volts. But here is the kilowatt hours. This must be how long the circuit timer. It must be the what that means, circuit timer, how long it's actually been running. And uh, or ET. I'm going to have to read the manual if I know what those are. Okay, right, there you go. Okay, so looking at the user manual, let's find out what some of those terms meant. So backlight, so rate, you can put how many, what your charge is per kilowatt hour. Two is cost. And that's going to be cost are forecasted in hour, day, week, month, and year. The longer the appliance is monitored, the better accuracy you get, blah, blah, blah. Kilowatt hour slash T, which is uh, energy usage or CEC, cumulative working time. That's what CT means, cumulative working time. Uh, elapsed times, ET. CT means a cumulative time when there was a load working. ET is elapsed time after the monitor powered up. So ET is how long that thing's been plugged in. And CT is how long it's actually ran a load. Interesting. WVA and OK. Max watts and VA watts means real time. We know what watts are. VA means real time apparent power. Uh, so overload alarm setting. So it looks like you can set an overload alarm. The PF for power factor, that's what PF stands for. And then you have the AC frequency. So then you have your volts and your amps. So there you go, that was a good little explanation. Now, how do I connect this to a Wi-Fi? That's, so download the Smart Life app, and I got a QR code. And that's, go ahead, I'm gonna put my phone on do not disturb. So I don't have anything bothering. I'm going to turn on my screen recorder. Go. Okay, so I'm going to pull open my camera. Get that QR code. Look at United States of America, download, install, pretty straightforward. Getting kind of excited because they're running lines out in front of my house to run fiber. I have internet air why it's like a cellular home uh, wi-fi through at&t it's okay but uh there are crews are actually digging my front yard today boring the lines under the road so i can have fiber in my house so i'm really excited about that i'll be able to upload videos much faster and download stuff on this much faster so anyway let's open the app enough about that you guys will probably bore you with that we're gonna agree i'm gonna sign up I'm put my email address on here. I agree. Get verification code. Okay, now I need to go to my email. Crop that part out. Uh, let me check my junk mail. A lot of times. Yep, I went to junk. 
247785. So here we're going to go 247785. Set a password. And go to app. I don't want notifications from it. Got it. So I'm going to add a device. Okay, let's use Bluetooth. Allow. Oh, I'm using app. So, wow, we have a lot of stuff on here. I think it's smart meter Wi Fi. Okay, I gotta go get my Wi-Fi password because it's, it's a long one. I got it written down. Oh, it says press and hold the reset button. Maybe this is the Wi-Fi on top. I'm gonna press and hold that. Okay, it's blinking. Confirm it's blinking. It's blinking slowly. One device found. Add. Well, that's pretty easy. Added. Turn this back on so we can see if it reads anything. So now it's got a little circle where it's adding the device. Added successfully. And click done. Oh, I can see the voltage. I can see the current amps, actual power. See how fast it works. I'm going to turn the light off. It shut off within like two or three seconds. So just look at the actual power there. I'm going to click this on and just kind of count. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Within two seconds, it registered on my Wi-Fi that power is being consumed. So that is pretty impressive. So then it's got a little graph down here in the bottom that tells you how many kilowatt hours. So this is good. I want to put this on an air conditioner in my house. I'll see how much energy it used and uh, the voltage. Hopefully energy stats, I can like track how long the voltage was at 110 volts versus 120. Because that'll tell me if it's on solar or on regular power. There you go. That's it. Um, I I like it. I'm going to run a little bit. Maybe I'll do an update and play with the settings, learn a little bit more about it. But I think this is going to fit my needs precisely. That way I'll know when my air conditioners are running on electric power from the utility company or my solar system just based on this voltage that's reading right from this app. So anywhere I'll be able to and Stay tuned, I'm going to show you a video on how I control my air conditioners using a Amazon Alexa uh, device. All right, thanks for watching. If you like this content, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Drop me a like. Um, drop a comment. What do you think? Do you, do you think this would be useful for you just to see how much things consume? What if you want to know how much your dishwasher is consuming? This will tell you how much power in a month your dishwasher uses. Uh, how much your refrigerator uses, a flat freezer, whatever. You can plug this any, into anything. Um, I would look, I would read this and find out, you know, what is its max wattage. And it looks like it is 25 watt or 25 amps. Max power is 3000 watts, 120 and by 550 watts to 40 volt. So you can run up to 3,000 watts off of this device and monitor. So this will work good. Say hello to Bear, my cat. He just meowed as he went by me.
So, again, I like it out of the box. We'll see how it does long term. I will let you know and uh, maybe do a follow up to this video. All right, again, as always, thanks for watching. God bless, and we'll talk to you soon. Hey, if you like this Jackery device, uh, I love this thing. It comes in very handy. Uh, one thing, it, it will, this thing will run a curling iron. Um, my wife needed to curl her hair, and there was like a thing over the bathroom, and I brought this up. She plugged in a curling iron. It worked great. So put a link to this in the description as well.